Today we are in Proverbs 29. This chapter's wisdom addresses the themes of leadership, self-control, and the impact of righteousness on those around us. Whether we're in positions of authority or under someone else's leadership, this chapter gives us a roadmap that we can use to navigate the complicated relationships and social dynamics that we face every day. One verse that stands out is Proverbs 29 11, and it says, fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. This highlights the power of self-control and emotional intelligence, not something that is very common these days, especially coming from those who hide behind their keyboard. But holding back our anger doesn't mean suppressing it. Rather, it suggests approaching situations with wisdom and discernment. In Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23, Paul lists self-control as one of the fruits of the Spirit. A life led by the Spirit enables us to navigate emotional stresses, social awkwardness, and social anxiety in a God-honoring way. Proverbs 29 also touches on the impact of good leadership. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in power, they groan. And there's definitely no shortage of groaning going on in our world right now. This verse serves as a powerful reminder for those in positions of authority, as well as for those who are choosing leaders, that godliness and righteousness should be at the core of effective leadership. But this chapter doesn't just speak to leaders, it speaks to all of us. Proverbs 29.5 says, The fear of human opinion disables. Trusting in God protects you from that. This reminds us to place our trust in God and not to fear human opinion. So whether we're in a season of leadership or following others, let Proverbs 29 be a reminder that we should all exercise self-control, seek godly counsel, and place our trust in God. Because when we do, we walk in the wisdom that leads to a life that both honors God and blesses those around us.